it's quite an early start today. Um, I've got deliveries today. Um, yeah, I've got bits for the I've got bits for the workshop coming, and I've got thing, <coughs> things for this business coming. Uh, if you want to hear more about the things coming for this business. Um, join the mailing list. Just uh, uh, josephtravis.com, and uh, yeah, we'll see you all there. Okay. I'm hoping to get the. Commission done today for uh, the old electric, but we'll see. It's I can't like that. I hope it's not for me. well last night. It's not particularly early now, it's just before 8 o'clock. I've breakfast yet and like I say I've got deliveries coming today. I don't want to be stuck upstairs when they come. So I'm just trying to work through this quite quickly. Go have breakfast. I wonder what's going on outside my house. Not being notified of any works, but it sounds like there's a digger going on. Definitely something going on. I can feel my desk rumbling under the uh, whatever the heck they're doing. <coughs> I hope it's not making the camera bounce too much. It's kind of them to, you know. Oh, there's going to be some sort of disruption. Never. Frustrated. Got yeah, so from a pottery today, um, slowly working on turning a storage container into a pottery unit. Um, I have um, plasterboard coming today, which will. Uh, Uh, 
the electrician so go first fix. And then we need to put insulation up, which I have already. Um, and then once insulation and plus board are up, I'll come and do the second fix. Good, because uh, in previous years I've always fired off an extension cable for all my electrics off that. Um, after I've got the second fix done, um, my granddad will be coming when he is back from helping my uncle. He's currently helping my uncle convert um, a coal shed into an office at his house, which is at the other end of the country. Um, and that will kind of allow me to uh, have some light in there. Um, and the plan is to run some open studios. Um, pottery lessons. If you want to hear about pottery lessons, you need to join the mailing list at redfoxpottery.com. Don't get the two confused. And they have two different mailing lists. Um, because I've always run them as well, what happened was I started running them as two separate entities because every time I posted about art rather than pottery on my pottery accounts, people would unsubscribe from my pottery accounts, which was frustrating to say the least. Um, and it, it did get frustrating. So I created a separate account on Instagram and on here for my artwork. Um, and they have two separate websites. So we have josephtrapps.com, which is paintings, prints, that sort of thing. And we have experimental and normal pottery on redfoxpottery.com um, We currently have currently looking for more uh, kind of gallery and shop space to put both sets of work in um, Just because generally I'm so prolific, it's I'm quite happy to hand over a percentage if people can sell it, which can vary. Um, I know some people balk at the idea that uh, somebody else is going to take 40 to 50% of your money. 
but you know, they have mailing lists, they have regular clones. And yeah, I have those things too. But it just opens it up to a different market that I don't usually especially as they're in different parts of the country. But some people like to um, buy things that they can see. Which I don't blame them. It's how I like to buy pottery too. I like to be able to pick it up and handle it. Compare and contrast. And uh, gallery owners could be said to have, can be said to have, you know, an area of expertise, expertise. Um, um, yeah, they do a lot of work. I mean, they have to pay to keep the lights on as well. Um, and they have more lights than I have here. They keep their shops warm. I know what it was like when I had the I'm hoping I've just joined a new Facebook group for uh, local creatives and I'm hoping together we can organise a um, studio tour, um, open studios together rather than just me putting one on. Because it can be, it can be lonely doing it alone. Um, and my idea would be to kind of open up my studio space and allow other people to exhibit here too. You know, it allows us to kind of it would allow us to kind of club together and use each other's marketing to uh, to promote it. And just something that's, you know, not relying on some other organisation that's just doing it to uh, 
make themselves look better to the local community how will we put on you know pass fail it becomes our responsibility Tell I was in education. I was talking about pass fail. Um, but yeah, just something that we can all work together as a community. So we will put on. It is going to need filling up soon. It is starting to run out. Yeah, just, and it, with marketing it's always trying new things to try and reach out. I have plans for next year's uh, um, Tram Sunday in Fleetwood. I don't want to go into them too much yet, but we'll uh, I need to work on them soon. So they're done. Um, so then I can start. Trying to promote it, what I'm doing. Get press and all that jazz. Essentially the idea is in one way or another to give away a free print to everyone who comes to uh, Trump Sunday. And uh, have Reprint to everyone who comes to Trump Sunday and <coughs> have more of the, the similar sort of print. And when I say print, I don't, I am an R between doing a digital print and doing like a wood block print or that, a wood block print or a lino print. Because In some ways, I would like to sell. I'd like to sell like um, prints on like almost newsprint. Something that people can kind of, you know, not even as high quality as kind of your regular print of paper. Something a bit different, a bit quirky. Um, there's a crossing there that we will actually put on.
and just pops that with the other one. Um, yeah, just the idea is just to do something a bit different, a bit eye catching, something we can do a um. Something we can do a press release about. And the question is, do I do wood bottle printing at the moment? The answer is no. Um, so that's when it becomes a bit. Well, you know, why wood bottle print? Because I want to learn. I want to learn to do that. Um, why not? You know? the one thing that's consistent in my life whether I was doing science before this or pottery or anything else is that I've always wanted to learn that's it that's yeah that, that's it really I, I just have always wanted to learn new skills, new information, just have this insatiable thirst for learning, which has taken me quite far in kind of every area. Um, that I wanted to learn. And I do want to learn, and it, yeah. so I've always designed it and defined it as wanting to learn, and um, the desire to explore. And it's never been a physical desire. It has at times. Years ago, before I hurt my back and things, I really enjoyed. Traveling and seeing different parts and things. Um, yeah, the, the, the real, the biggest desire to kind of explore for me, at least, has always been to do. To learn new skills, new things, um, when I was doing science it was also to be the best and the best and the best and the best, and I worked myself hard for that, um, I do work myself hard for this, um, yeah. It can be quite prolific. Um, if I didn't have things on, you know, children around and stopping to market and things, I would just paint all day. Um, and that's it, I'd just paint all day every day. would be fun both in acrylic and uh, yeah 
נצח, איך מדהים. Materials to paint on. Can be, can be the problem. Uh, if I'm willing to always go and paint, uh, paint on paper. I have a lot of paper. A lot, a lot of paper. Got drawers full of paper down here. Mm. Kind of, that's what I've been doing. I did start some acrylics on paper, but I've not managed to finish them because and I talked about finishing them days ago. The reason I haven't managed to finish them is because it's holidays and things have been busy. I have children. Yes, all I want to do is paint, but some people just want a holiday, so. That's so all what I said. The bare minimum, you know, I paint every day. So, we just could do a bit of some shadows in there. I'll just use that same shadow. And just a little more colour on those windows. Otherwise, they need a bit more. There we go, darker on top. Um, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Um, a lot to think about, a lot to do today. Um, once it's dry, we'll just do them now. Thanks for watching. That's it for today. Definitely, definitely. definitely. So, um, I've got lots to be getting on with. Um, I'll see you tomorrow.